Hello and welcome to another episode of Health Hacks with me, Della and Bryony, our pharmacist from Lloyd's Pharmacy. Today we'll be discussing all things eczema related, focusing on how you treat an eczema flare up, especially in this cold winter. So, Bryony, can you tell us a little bit more about eczema? Hi Della, absolutely. So eczema, also known as atopic eczema or atopic dermatitis, is a common inflammatory skin condition. It's saw that around 1.5 million adults in the UK live with eczema. And while eczema affects people of all ages, it's more common in infants and young children, with one in every five children in the UK affected by eczema at some stage. Eczema is a term which comes from the Greek word to boil and is used to describe red, dry, itchy skin which can sometimes become weeping, blistered, crusted, scaling and thickened. Mild eczema can be treated with topical moisturisers, however it's an important skin condition that many suffer with. So what are the most common characteristics of eczema? So there are many different types of eczema, however the most common is atopic eczema, with the word atopic meaning that it can run in the family or affect those who already have other types of allergies such as asthma, hay fever or a food allergy. These conditions are all linked by an increased activity of the allergy side of the body's immune system. The severity of atopic eczema can vary a lot from person to person. People with mild eczema may only have small areas of dry skin that are occasionally itchy, while severe cases may see widespread inflamed skin and constant itching. This scratching can make your skin bleed, which can then cause secondary infections but also disrupt your sleep. Secondary infections can make your itching worse, leading to a circle of regular scratching and regular disruption. So I didn't know about the hereditary link, so that's really interesting. Um, so when it comes to eczema and a flare-up, what are the best ways to treat them? So living with eczema generally requires extra attention to your skincare routine, with topical moisturiser being applied more often. With flare-ups, it's important to understand what can cause this and prevent these from happening. Many factors in a person's environment can make atopic eczema worse, including heat, dust, woolen clothing, pets, and irritants such as soaps, detergents, and other chemicals, as well as stress and the common cold too. These flare-ups can occur more in the autumn or winter months due to a number of factors, one being the addition of central heating. It's a must to help keep us warm, but it also strips moisture from the air, so it's best to add extra light layers in terms of your clothing, preferably 100% cotton, as well as placing a bowl of water near the radiator to help offset the drying effect and minimise the impact on the skin. Also, if you find that dust has an impact on your skin, the autumn or winter months see us all spending more time indoors, so extra dusting may help keep these flare-ups to a minimum. OK, thank you, Bryony. That was really helpful. So when it comes to moisturisers, do you have any tips? Yes, so you may find that switching to an alternative emollient, which is the term used for moisturising treatment applied directly to the skin to soothe and hydrate it. You could use either an ointment, which is very effective at holding water in the skin and therefore useful for very dry areas of the skin, or a humectant cream, which draws water into the epidermis, the top layer of the skin, from the dermis, the second layer of the skin. And these can be used to help combat the drying effects of harsher weather conditions. There are lots of options to choose from here at Lloyd's Pharmacy including options for more sensitive skin and for baby skin too. So it really is worth heading to your local Lloyd's Pharmacy or online to find out more. Also, one top tip is to make sure to pay particular attention to sensitive areas of skin that are vulnerable to exposure, such as the face and hands when heading outside. Apply emollient at more regular intervals if you feel that helps, and to try to avoid licking your lips, as while it may seem it moisturises them, it actually dries the skin out more, resulting in a vicious cycle. Thank you, Bryony, that was really helpful. And if you want to find out more about eczema, head on over to lloydspharmacy.com and we'll see you next time.